Hello there, this is Dave Allen from Mac Tony Questions and for Video Magical and today we're going to have a look at what we can do in iMovie with some sound. So I've got a track here in the timeline already and what I'm going to do is I'm just click on this one over here and click on Audio Adjustments. And once you're in the Audio Adjustments there, there's a few things you can do with this. So we can do some ducking, so if I want to reduce the volume of other tracks while this one is playing, I can do that and that will set it at 15% of uh, what it's supposed to be. And it means that everything else is going to be lowered and this track will sound pretty good. So that's something that you can do there. Now another thing you might want to do is to enhance it. Now this is the sort of enhancing you might want to do if you've got some hiss or some hum. It's not really fair if you've got, say, someone coughs uh, at one point in the uh, track there. That really has to be taken out and manually sort of bit by bit. If you're going to do this, then you have to be fairly careful because if you overdo it, then what's going to happen is that the sound is going to get messed up. You can take the uh, slider across from the left to the right there. The more you move it to the right, the more sound that you take out. And you'll find that when you get further over towards the right, what happens is you start taking out some of the sound that you want. So the thing to do is to have it playing through, move it across to the right. So when your hum or your hiss actually goes, then just sort of leave it where it is or just take it back just a little bit. So. Another thing that you can do is, if you're not going to mess with that there, is you can do some work with the equaliser. And you've got a few different things on here. So you've got a flat one, for instance, and that's just with these buttons here all sort of set in the centre. And also what you can do is you can decide to enhance it for the voice. And that will make it change a little bit so that it'll perhaps bring up some more of the mid-range and take out a little bit of the bass. Or what you can do is you can go for something where you've got, so if you've got some hum in there, this is one way of getting rid of some hum. So you see the hum is expected to be in that uh, range of sound there. Or we can go for treble reduce and you might sort of want to get rid of some hits that way. And you bring these ones over on this side of the thing down a wee bit. So that's uh, a couple of things you can do to enhance the sound and your videos. Now what I've done with this one here is I've actually um, got sound in this one here but I'm not using it because I've put the sound in it in the video from one that's underneath. This one that's underneath it's obviously coming on a lot louder. I've done some adjustments with that. I've probably done that adjustment in Amadeus Pro which is my preferred sound editor. But if you're doing some minor adjustments there's no reason why you shouldn't do it in iMovie. And if you decide that you're going to do some work with this one here, then perhaps just take that one back down the volume and go on this one here. And obviously this one here you don't get a chance to do any video adjustments because there's none there to be done. And you just go into audio adjustments. And you get the same sort of things you can do in there. So these equaliser ones you can take them up or down and have it just the way that you want it so you get the right sort of sound. Another thing you can do is to normalise the clip volume. And basically that means if there's an area where you've got some high volume in some parts of the video or the audio clip and some parts of it are of a different volume altogether, what that'll do is it'll bring it all so it's more or less sort of the same. Fade in and fade out, that works okay, no problem there. I prefer to do that in something like Final Cut Pro where I can actually set some in and out points for where I want video and audio to do specific things. So that's doing some stuff with audio. And of course the other thing you can do with audio is that you can click on this one here and you can start recording from uh, your microphones. Now, I don't recommend you use the built-in microphone. It's far better if you're going to use something like a, an external microphone. I've got this Samsung CO3U, very good microphone to use. Or I've got this one here which is the microphone I use with the Dictation, Drag and Dictate, and that works pretty well too. So if you're going to do some uh, voiceovers, make sure you've got a good microphone on there. Don't use the internal microphone. Set the volume over here on this input volume. And if you drag it over too far to the right, then what's going to happen is that when you're speaking, you're going to have the uh, sound hitting those red notes there, and you don't want it to do that. So that stays there. You want to bring it back. So when you're talking there, mostly it should be green and occasionally going into the yellow or orange colour there. You can do some noise reduction on there if uh, you think it needs it. The thing to do with that is to have a bit of a try out with this because it really depends upon the environment that you're recording your audio. And when you're doing your recording of the voiceover, you can take it to play the project so you can see what it is that you're supposed to be saying into your voiceover. 
So there you go, there's a few different things you can do with iMovie to enhance the audio and to make it work better. As you can see, I've also been doing a bit of green screen on this here. So I did another video already, which is somewhere already in YouTube, and you can find out how easy it is to do green screen using iMovie. So this is Dave Allen. What I'd like you to do now is to click on the like button. It helps to have these videos found by other YouTube users. And also don't forget to subscribe because if you subscribe, it's going to mean that you're not going to miss out on excellent videos I'm going to make for you, showing you how to do things with iMovie, Final Cut Pro, Motion 5 and various other Mac applications. Bye-bye now. Talk to you again soon.